Hey Virgo, welcome to your mid-monthly reading for mid-January 2022. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the rest of uh, January, so take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Let's see, Virgo. What do we need to know for Virgo for the rest of January? January 2022. We have uh, a tidy house, clarity and organization, number one. We also have unmarked trail, revelation. And we have woodwives, adaptability. Interesting, you had a, these two cards, so clarity and then the adaptability, both came out in the same spots for Capricorn, I believe is Capricorn. This though feels like you are, uh, something's coming to your awareness is what it feels like. We have surrender, sky dances, sky dancer. Like sky dancers. <laughs> um, this feels like something that is, um, it's almost like when you remove or clear out certain energies or organize, I'm almost getting like your mind, your thoughts. Um, you have this new idea and it it's creating change because it's a new idea, uh, but it's kind of this revelation. It's like, it's like a place you've never been before. So it's different than the Capricorn energy, but this is like, a place you've never been or a new idea and I think it's just like allowing it we have the surrender and then we have the magician sword confidence in your magic allowing yourself to create this new opportunity and to step into this new opportunity um, and also just like letting it letting it see where it's going to take you or being open to where it's going to take you like you don't know it's an unmarked trail so you've never been there before um, so it's new. So it's like, you know, surrender to what it kind of like looks like. But I do feel like it's an opportunity for change here for you as well. So let's see what this is about here. What's this about for Virgo for the rest of January? Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles here as the first card. Seven of Cups, Tower. There's that like revelation. We have the Five of Cups, the World. The Four of Pentacles, Death card, Three of Cups, Ten of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. So there's, there is this closing of a chapter with the world being in the center of the reading. It feels like maybe something you've been holding on to emotionally. Five of Cups, Four of Pentacles, maybe something you feel like you've lost out on or you're having to let go, which makes you a little bit sad. Um, kind of feels like you held on as long as you could but I think there's a I think with this ten of swords there's a clarity that like even the tower the four of pentacles ten of swords like four of pentacles and ten of swords can be kind of holding things close to you but it's almost like you can no longer do that there's definitely this transformative energy with the tower death card in the world where it's like something's coming to a completion it's ending it's transmuting but with the tower crumbling comes a new beginning death and rebirth right so there's kind of this, this shift and um, I mean after the Ten of Swords comes the Ace of Swords, right? So there's a sense of clarity of realizing that something has come to an end. Some of you have maybe been really unsure of your path or unsure of where to put your time and your energy and what's going to, is this bringing me stability? Is this not bringing stability? Okay, and I think that this is an opportunity for you to really step into your power here with this Queen of Wands and take charge in a different direction or in a new direction. Just a new chapter, right? Um, let's see what this Seven of Pentacles is here for you, Virgo. Why is this Seven of Pentacles here? It feels like there's a surrender aspect because that we have the death, the world, and the tower where it's like it's inevitable like the, the universe has, especially with the tower the universe has stepped in here or will step in what's the seven of pentacles here for virgo for the rest of january we have the king of wands so it could be dealing with the fire sign nine of cups it's really though feels too like what you want to take action on of like achieving your goal and your success like the energy that you're putting in is it getting you to where you want to go some of you with the seven of cups are trying to figure that out like figuring out the path. Yeah, we have Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. There could also be possibly a person here. What's this tower? Nine of Cups, Eight of Swords. 
and the devil. I almost see you being freed of the lack of clarity. Like you have a knowing. There's been something brought to the surface here, the devil with the sun. It's like an illumination of the block, illumination of what's been holding you back. And it's being disintegrated with the tower, like it's being let go of. So it gives you this clarity on a situation that you've been trying to figure out and putting energy and time into and trying to take action on some things and seeing where it's going to guide you. Um, if it's a person, it feels like It feels like you have been trying to figure out if you're going to invest in a situation. Some of you have given it up to the universe to like show you what's the option. With the Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, I'm getting like, she's got her eyes closed. So it's like, she doesn't know. And she's like, let the universe just do what it needs to do. There's kind of this like surrendering aspect of like the clarity will come. The, the ideas will come. Why the world here for Virgo? The strength, so definitely overcoming a cycle. We have the Page of Cups. This feels like being open to new opportunities as well. Give me one more with the world and the strength here for Virgo. Yeah, Ace of Cups. You could be getting a new opportunity, but you do have to let something go. Or some of you are letting go because you know that the, a new decision is better. Or it's time to let something go. You're going to get the clarity on the direction. Seven of Cups to the Ace of Cups, right? Where there's like you're getting this idea or this like, okay, this is the path, right? This is the path forward. This is where I need to go. Why the death card here? High Priestess, again, tr trusting the universe, trusting where you're led, um, not letting anything get in, in the way of this transformation, this change. Yeah, Chariot moving forward, surrendering to the process. This just feels like so much surrender. This is Three of Cups, Two of Pentacles. And you're leaving and walking away. Ten of Swords, Temperance, Eight of Cups. Um, we have the Eight of Wands. You guys are moving on. There's changes to your environment. There's changes to the people around you. Uh, some of you, it's changes in your friend circle. Yeah, Nine of Wands reverse. You're letting things go. Like, again, the resistance, the blocks. I also feel like you're wanting to be happy and you haven't been happy with where you are. And so it's just kind of like surrendering to the path and the universe, letting it guide you. Even temperance here, temperance can be an energy of um, like being guided. Okay, it's divine intervention. It's having patience. Um, but it's like patience to see where life is going to take you. And so... There's definitely something you're releasing here. What are they releasing? We have the Nine of Pentacles. What are they releasing? Empress. What are they? You're, whatever you're releasing, it's not telling me what you're releasing. It's telling me that you're, you're releasing it because you want to grow. You're releasing it because you want changes, positive changes to your environment, you want growth, you want stability, you want things to blossom, you want confidence, you want to be able to attract new things into you. So this feels like you are, you're trying to open, it, open yourself up to more abundance, whether that's love, whether that's relationships, whether that's a career thing or money or whatever, but you're letting your intuition in the universe guide you in a direction and you're, you're definitely closing something out. I feel like you've probably left something behind. You're realizing maybe what does make you happy, what does not. You're open to new opportunities. This is five of cups. Yeah, ten of wands. You've been carrying around this like, probably this, uh, like, I don't, don't want to say negative emotion, but like kind of this something's been holding you back ten of wands five of cups where it's like a negative emotion in the sense of like sadness loss grief like um and i think you're letting that go like i don't see you holding on to it further I, th I think you're letting that go with the eight of wands the star like you're definitely doing a lot of healing 
allowing yourself to move forward with the star and the hermit. So a lot of internal healing. And that's why you're able to close out this chapter and step into new energy. So this is like you stepping into new things, but it's you're surrendering that process to the universe where you're like, just show me where I'm supposed to go. Like it's a full on surrender of like what's meant for me will come in being open and receptive. And in a weird way, you actually end up with more control. And some of you are, are feeling in more in control where the more you trust your intuition, the more confidence you have that you're headed in a good direction. Which usually we think it's the opposite, but it's not. <laughs> so let's see what your um, healing mantra is here, Virgo. Yeah, we have processing grief. Like I said, with that five of cups, it says my losses prove how deeply I loved. Okay, so it's just a show, a showing us our emotions and where we did put our energy. And usually we're sad because we have to let it go, right? Um, we can't keep holding on to it, right? And then we have greeting wellness. It says balance is the key to a life of infinite miracles. So you're processing the grief and you're letting it go and you're restoring and you're harmonizing your energy. But I also just feel like you are so... You're so tapped into the flow of life like you're just letting things flow naturally and you're not the you're releasing and having this new this revelation of like okay this I got to change something and I'm going to let it change and I'm going to see where it's going to take me so it looks good it feels like there's like you're dropping the resistance is what I feel um, and it could be a person, but it also could just be the way that you've invested into situations before in the past. It's opening you, opening you up to new things um, and not being so rigid uh, in how you feel that they should or should not work. So that's pretty much what I have for you, Virgo. Hopefully that resonates. So let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of your other signs. But I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of January and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.